What's up, fellow Drum Magazine readers? How you doing? Glenn Sobel here from the Alice Cooper Band. I'm here to go over my lesson column in issue number 217 of Drum Magazine. That's this issue right here. It's the lesson column on linear licks. I've talked about linear drumming before in this column. This pattern right here is one of my favorite linear patterns when it comes to doing fills involving linear drumming. Now, obviously, there's 50,000, 50 million things you can do with this stuff. This is one pattern, and I've put out maybe about another seven examples based on the pattern. Let's start with example one, very basic. It's just right, left, right, left, left foot, right, left, right, left, left foot, right, left, right, left, left foot. <laughs> So as you can see, this is a six note pattern played over eighth note triplets in example one. Now from here on out, it is all about the voicing. That's what we do with linear patterns. We learn them on one surface, the snare, and then we try them on every part of the kit and we accidentally stumble on some really cool ideas. So example number two, let's get started with the voicing right away. We're taking our right, left, right, left, left foot, we're playing the right hand on the toms. We're voicing it first on the floor tom, then on the first rack tom. So example number two will start like this. Two, three, four. Example three, now we're switching over to triplet sixteenths, but it's the same six note pattern. But for those of you that have the issue at home and are watching this, it's the same pattern over triplet sixteenths. Now what we're doing, same exact pattern, but I'm going to accent the middle left. So the right, left, right, the first three notes of each six note pattern are accented. So we're going to go, I'll play it without the left hand accent, then I'll play it with the left hand accent. That will be our example number three, and I've already got you going with a little bit of voicing there with the floor tone. Here it is slow, example three. Moving right along, example four is going to be pretty much the same thing as example three, but I'm mixing in the padiddle. That's right, left, left, right, left, left. So going really slow, here is example number four.
Next up, example five. Same idea with keeping that left hand accent in between the right hand accents and same idea with the padiddle. This time I'm only going to put in one padiddle, right, left, left, once to offset the pattern. Here it is, very slow, example number five. Here we go. Next up, example six, we're going to take this pattern, we're going to turn it into a hi-hat ride groove. Here it is very slow, example six. Example seven is a little different. We're taking this six note pattern and we're going to play it over six teeth notes. This is what I like to do. If I have a lick that works over triplets, I say, well, hey, what if I try it over six teeth notes or 30 second notes? So in example seven, I made a one bar phrase. I'm going to play it slowly. It's going to be countered off like this. One, two, ready, and play, and Example 8 is the same concept as example 7. Same pattern over 16 notes. It's just a weird, cool voicing of it. Here's example 8. Really slow. Thank you so much for checking out the videos. I'd love to see what you guys do with these patterns. So send me some videos, send them to Drum Magazine, and we'll see you at the next call. We'll see you on tour this summer with Alice Cooper and Motley Crue. Example 8. Here we go. One, two, three.